Right guys, I've been contacted by a source and they've given me information regarding the pricing, specs, RAM and SSD configurations of the M1X MacBook Pros. And so today let's delve into all of that. But first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. So obviously this goes without saying, but do take this information with a grain of salt. It could be wrong, but I do want to say a lot of it does make sense in my opinion. So let's begin with the 14 inch MacBook Pro. So obviously it's going to get the M1X. This is going to be a five nanometer plus chip, much like the A15 with eight power cores and two efficiency cores. And as for the base 14 inch, it's going to get 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. Now do note the RAM is upgradable up to 32 gigs and as for storage, it should go up to four terabytes. Now I do want to quickly touch on the five nanometer plus process for the M1X. Now obviously some of you guys might be wondering whether this means we're gonna see A15 cores in the M1X instead of the A14 cores in the M1. And while the source did not clarify regarding that, now if I were to assume I could see Apple giving us a15 base cores in the M1X purely because I'm assuming it would be easier and more efficient to produce A15 cores for the M1X since Apple's producing 100 million A15 chips for the iPhone 13 series. And yes, I know that means the M1X name might not make any sense anymore so there is a possibility we could see some other name. In fact, Luke Miani suggested it might be something completely different so maybe the Pro Max get a P1 chip instead, that could very much be possible in my opinion. Now the next part is pretty interesting, there's going to be a 16 core GPU which we've heard about, but there won't be an upgrade to 32 cores for the 14 inch. So if you want the beefy GPU, you have to get the 16 inch MacBook Pro. But anyways, the source says, the pricing is going to be the same, it's going to be $17.99, so thankfully there will be no price hike because of mini LED, that's great news. And I'm assuming the savings they make with Apple Silicon offsets the cost of a new design and that mini LED panel. Anyways, moving on to the 16 inch, it's gonna have a near identical SOC. It's gonna have eight power cores, two efficiency cores, and even a 16 core GPU at the base. But there will be the option to get 32 cores for the GPU, which is gonna be absolutely insane. But yes, that is a 16 inch MacBook Pro exclusive. And I'm assuming it's because of the larger thermal envelope that can accommodate the beefier GPU. Now there's another pretty interesting change with the 16 inch. And that is we're gonna get one terabyte of storage at the base. Now that's a pretty interesting change. It's 512 right now. And honestly for a $2,400 machine, that's a little low. So yes, one terabyte as standard, that's a really nice change and it does definitely help justify the higher price of the 16 inch MacBook Pro. And by the way, RAM wise, there is gonna be a downgrade because unlike the current model that goes up to 64 gigs of RAM, this only goes up to 32 gigs, much like the 14 inch, which I guess might be a bummer for some, but I do think with the efficiency of Apple Silicon, 32 gigs of RAM with the M1X, is pretty much gonna feel like 64 gigs on Intel. So this really should not be a massive issue, in my opinion. Oh, and by the way, storage should go up to eight terabytes like the current 16 inch. So again, if you want more storage, you have to get the bigger 16 inch MacBook Pro. Anyways, as for the price, like I said before, it's gonna be identical. So $2,400 for the base model. And well, I'm just glad Apple is not giving us a huge price hike with these MacBooks. They're gonna stay the same prices, but they're gonna be so much better with the M1X, the new design, mini LED, and so much more. Anyways, those are the tidbits, but tell me in the comments below which configuration are you gonna go with if you're getting the M1X MacBook Pro. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the card above on details regarding the iPhone 13. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.